Hello, my name is uh, Joe Esposito. I live in Owasso, Oklahoma. I've lived here 19 years. Um, I'm just going to do a little show and tell today about pulsed, non-ionizing microwave radiation, which we've all become immersed in the sea of. And I have a thousand dollar gigahertz meter. It's an HFE 35C. This is about a thousand dollar meter and it can detect radiation. Most people don't even know that you can detect this radiation. And so I just want to show you the sources out where I live. I'm actually north of Owasso on the city limits. Uh, but there's health issues. I have a 1972 Navy military document. It's 2,300 studies of five pages of health symptoms. And since people have never been told this, I think it would be wise to help people understand what's happening to them physiologically when they're being exposed to these multi-sources of radiation, including a smart meter. This is our HFE 35C, a uh, $1,000 meter. It goes to zero, zero out in the country. Uh, we are not out in the country right now. But let me just give you the nomenclature. We put it on peak. This is a volume knob. It's 200 microwatts per meter squared and 2,000 microwatts. This is the display. This is a directional antenna, so it points and shows you where radiation is coming from. And I also have an omnidirectional antenna that is just kind of from everywhere. So we're going to walk around now, and we're going to show you these multi-sources of microwave radiation, which we all are being exposed to. And then we'll talk about the health effects a little bit later to help you understand that. We're going to walk around uh, the side of my house. We're going south now, and we're on the east side. Uh, I just want to show you the sources of radiation. Now, the meter's not on yet, uh, but I just wanted to give you a little... My uh, smart meter used to be out here on the house where I put the sheet of lead, and now you can see I've put up a bunch of aluminum screen wire and blocking it, and then I had to learn we had to go to the roof because it's, that hospital where it's being coming from to my south about 90 uh, 900 feet is coming right through my roof and then we put the smart meter out on the property line which is a thousand one hundred dollars i was forced to pay but at least it's 92 feet away from my house in those 90,000 microwatts per meter square every like 200,000 times a day is not going through my house as bad out there so that's sitting out there a little bit that's that gray box Paul gray box uh, right to the right of the telephone pole. That's it. And there's a meter. I have to face it away from my house. Which they did. So now we're going to turn on our meter here, and I'll show you the, what happens at our, this hospital here. It's going to be a little loud. Don't get scared. Uh, the, the hospital pulses me um, every 30 seconds. Uh, 20 seconds um, is pulsing, and then it lays back for 10. Here it goes. Uh, it's pulsing right now. Uh, that's, a, that's a 200 microwatt. I think we can adjust it for 2,000 and show you how much. But it stays on for 20 seconds. Okay, and I'll go off for 10 and the readings will drop. And there is no real low ambient here. You'll see as soon as it pulses again. See, we're down to what, 46, 52, there's 38. Okay, there it's back up. Now we can switch that um, to 2,000 and you can see how bad it is. But you can see the hospital in the top of there, there's an antenna. Uh, we're going to go this way now towards the cell tower. Yeah, you can look up there and see the hospital. Uh, up at the top is uh, the antenna. To the right of that gray the top. towards the cell tower. You can tell by the noise, the amount of noise. Um, noise it's pagan there. When we step around this house right here, you'll see the cell tower.
that's, uh, that's six tenths of a mile away from my house on uh, 96th Street in Owasso. Uh, it's a big uh, commercial area there. And, uh, it's a lot of radiation coming down on us constantly, 24-7. Uh, so That's electric fence. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna step step over here by this metal building a minute. See the sounds getting less. Okay. Now you can come read this and look at the difference. Right now it's 4.4, 5.4. Okay, there was a pulse that was a, probably a smart meter. See, it's five because metal blocks things. That's why I have aluminum screen wire in my house because it blocks the radiation. There's a big difference. You can tell by the sound how quieter it is. Okay, now we're going to go out. We're going to step around this corner and this is where the, the cell tower is here and listen to the difference. That's almost constant radiation now from that cell tower. That's, that's uh, six, tenths, six tenths of a mile uh, from my house. And now we're gonna, we'll go up to the 2000 when we get out here and I'll show you how much the radiation is. Um, you could probably get a picture of that antenna on that hospital right now. See it to the right of that gray thing up there? That's the antenna. So that's two major sources right there. And then you can add smart meters on top of that, which is going off as high as 200,000 times a day. Uh, and the peaks, peaks on those could be uh, 90,000 microwatts to all this. So we'll go out here. from 200 to 2,000. Uh, and we're going to get a true reading on, on uh, the amount of that radiation. So we'll see. Okay, we're looking at 1,500 microwatts. It's it kind of bouncing around. I think it depends on, there's 14. It depends on the 1,200 microwatts. This is on the 2,000. So this is a constant radiation from these, these cell towers and there's, you know, like, um, what's her name, uh, oh, Eric uh, um, Brockovich, uh, she, you could go on her site, she's got cancer clusters around cell towers. I, I don't know, I'm sure people don't know because they've never been told of the health issues associated with this radiation um, that's being caused by this. And it's hard for me, I have to wear protective uh, clothing when I come out to work in my, I have a 7,000 square foot garden here on you know, two and a half acres and I have to wear protective clothing anymore because I'm being damaged so f so much from all this radiation, constant radiation. I mean it's not just you know in the morning or at night, it's 24 hours, seven days a week. So much so that all this radiation was coming into the south side of my home. That's why I had to nail the aluminum screen wire on the south side of my home and then I had to start putting it on the roof because that hospital's antenna is kind of high and I learned um, that I could block it and where my wife would lay her head on the bed and the radiation was coming through the walls I've got it down to maybe five microwatts now. There's a big difference because we started putting it on the roof and started really blocking it now. So that's really been a benefit. But everything out here, all the animals I have, I had uh, 22 beehives at one time, not here, but I've got, there used to be three beehives right here 
it's killing all the bees. Uh, they can't survive with all this radiation. It disorientates them um, and, and they die. I mean, it's just a, a serious problem. And it's uh, in a court of law, uh, Curtis Bennett, uh, thermoguy.com, uh, was an intervener in um, Canada. And they said the, the frequencies are ster sterilizing the ground three feet deep. So if you can't have microbes in your ground, you really can't garden because it kills the microbes. Um, the garden's getting worse and worse every year since all this has been out here now. So what we're trying to do is uh, we're trying to appeal to our state legislators and the Corporation Commission, and we have cases with them. Um, I've been going to the state legislature since January the 8th, uh, 2012, with all sorts of documents. I took Take Back Your Power. Uh, it's, a, it's a documentary by Josh DeSol, and uh, it's an hour and 42 minutes, but he's showing you what's happening. Um, the same thing, the first three minutes and 10 seconds of that uh, film was the state of Maine Supreme Court grilling the um, utility regulator's lawyer, and they just, the, the lawyer, I mean, the judge said, are you ducking the health and safety issues? and he didn't know how to handle that too well, so you gotta watch that. But that case took two years to come to court about two months ago. I've got the briefs of that case. It's the same thing that's happening here in Oklahoma because we've had a case before them. A complaint started in February, August the 14th, and here it is a year later, and we're still talking about it. I mean, uh, the judge, Miles, um, tried to let OG&E, which was the kind of main Oklahoma power utility, say to dismiss it to not even hear her complaint. Um, so nothing's really changed between Maine and Oklahoma. And right now PSO is filed for uh, a rate hike, but they're also, uh, looks like to me, they're going to be rolling out 522,000 meters covering 30,000 square miles. They're getting ready to radiate all these people. And so I've uh, been blessed to be an intervener in that case uh, as of last week. So we'll be able to go in and ask questions about all this that nobody's asking. So that's just what we're doing. We're trying to show people, first of all, about this uh, radiation uh, that everybody's going to have on their house because of smart meters. Um, but then also people bring into their home voluntarily these DEC, D-E-C-T phones, portable phones that are like 2,000 microwatts or more. Um, and then they have wireless Wi-Fi, so they're bringing things into their home that doesn't not help the situation any. Uh, but then when you have a hospital and you, uh, radiating at these extremely high levels and you have cell towers, uh, I had to go to court with PSO and I, I think the attorney said there's 50 cell towers in a four mile radius of my home. I mean, I've lived here 19 years. You know, and if somebody wants to break in my front door and damage my family, I have a right to protect my family. Well, do I not have a right to protect my family when this radiation's coming through the walls into where we live? Uh, and the only thing we've been able to do to, s to slow it down is put all this um, aluminum wire and different things on our home to block it. It's causing health issues. That's what the Navy documents are showing. There's 8,000 documents uh, from the military showing damage. And so there, and, and there's uh, peer-reviewed um, studies out there, Dr. Magna Havis, all sorts of people that are, have documents, but they're not being presented and they're not being considered. I presented like almost 2,000 pages of documents in Sherry Lamb's case at the Corporation Commission. And in the judge's uh, final decision, I can't remember reading anything new that he, uh, that he attested to that we brought into the case in public comment. So that kind of shows you right there that they say it, yeah, but they don't really act on it. It looks like it appears to me. That's where we're at.